Our next speaker is Alexis Reddy, works as a senior data engineer at Fidelity and uh, who is sharing a real-world case study of streaming data engineering and uh, visualization with Apache Bean and uh, Power BI. Uh, welcome. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Huh. Is the mic on? Yeah. So uh, I would, my name is uh, Deekshit. You, uh, my friends call me Reddy because it's easier to spell my surname. Uh, Firstly, it's streamlining data engineering. Uh, I'm going to show how we can automate the whole process of uh, moving data to the dashboards uh, with Power BI and Apache Beam. Uh, I work as a senior data engineer at Fidelity Investments, as uh, he told. Um, it's been th two and a half years since I have got into the data engineering field, and I'm really passionate about automation in data engineering. Uh, I feel that uh, the past decade has all been talking about data collection, making use, use of data, uh, and the coming f and moving it to cloud and uh, how we can enable efficiency and scalability. But uh, we can even more enhance efficiency and scalability in the coming few years through automation techniques. And uh, I believe the focus will be on automation in the coming few years. Uh, so. What we'll be talking about it today, we'll be explaining the aim of the whole project, what we tried to achieve, and what was the process that we followed. I'll try to show code, some code uh, of whatever was I had implemented, and how the real-world project was replaced by tools uh, native to the Google Cloud and uh, Apache uh, in Apache technologies, whereas Power BI is native to. Uh, the Microsoft suit of apps. So uh, an integration between both of them was interesting for me to work on as well. And let's go on to this. So uh, this was a typical project where uh, it was a non-technology company. It was a manufacturing company and it was a HR uh, team where the analyst was spending close to 200 hours a year uh, or like a um, few hours a week uh, extracting, cleaning, and analyzing data for in terms of CSV sheets and Excel sheets, which uh, they were getting from the uh, ADP software, which is an HR software, uh, which has very limited reporting capabilities. And in order to do that, they had to like get those sheets, uh, merge them, remove the duplicates, do the wrangling of the data, and then create reports. And then we came out with a process where we automated the whole thing where they can just drop the sheets at a certain point or a certain storage location. And uh, not just the transformation and cleaning, but that data is connected to the BI tool where the reports come up. So they can just double click on the BI tool and the reports will be automatically generated. So this was the process flow. Uh, the analyst will basically drop the sheets in a folder in Google Drive. And then we have the Google uh, scheduler, cloud scheduler, which, which is scheduled to run at, a, at regular intervals. And then that's pulled into a Google Cloud Console project. Now, the Google Cloud Console project, it's written in Python, and then it's deployed using the terminal, uh, Google Cloud SDK. And from there, we do all the cleaning and transforming. And this is where Apache Beam comes into picture, where we push the data into the database. And the data pipelines are uh, written. Also, it's batch data pipeline and not streaming. Uh, then we connect that, we use a connector, which I'll be talking about, to connect it to Postgres instance in Google Cloud, and then connecting it to Power BI. Now, this whole, whole project, when it was uh, done in the Microsoft Azure uh, uh, background was basically SharePoint folder, um, Logic Apps, then Azure Data Factory, and from there, from the Azure Data Factory, it would go to uh, uh, Logic Apps, Azure Data Factory, then SQL Server. But if you have to, if the analyst just wants to use Power BI, and we, if we need to have a turnaround in a in a company that uses Google Cloud and Apache background, then we would have this kind of process flow. So. Uh, I know a lot of companies or uh, a lot of the speakers today were talking about having the uh, Apache background with Google, but uh, in real company scenarios, uh, BI tools used by downstream teams have a lot of impact on the business case on the on the business users. Uh, 
businesses would focus more on the bi tools rather than the background technology and having intercompatibility is very very important i feel and that's how i uh, i explored this uh, project and moreover uh, yeah it was a challenge uh, knowing which tool uh, which database can we connect beam to and uh, i had used postgres of course uh, postgres instance in google cloud but we can uh, we can even use mysql if uh, because that connects very well with power bi so this is how i created a google cloud project we we first will uh, it connects to the drive we'll enable all the apis uh, in, in the under the scope section such that we give the uh, apis for the google sheets to drop the sheets the drive folders id which we can give in the drive folders id over there then all the json um, information about the project like the type and everything is stored in a environment variable that is stored in the google cloud project and it's called using the google application credentials uh, after that we uh, we run the credentials we also connect to the drive and the sheets through the drive service build and the build uh, sheet service build and the folder id which i had talked to about which we connect to the drive and then we get all the files which are dropped after we get the files we list those files as data frames in a bigger list over here at the end and then we we can store them uh, as a big list with each data frame can be stored as a list of data frames uh, now one of the important part is how do we deploy this of course when we when we deploy it into the google cloud profile we get the http and the url that url which we, we can use for scheduling the uh, google cloud scheduler which i'll be talking about next yes this is how you uh, this is how you basically schedule a basic google cloud scheduler um, at the end you will have a url uh, which will, which will, which will be generated once you deploy your uh, python project into the google cloud and that one you can give here and you can uh, schedule it now how did we connect beam to uh, postgres so basically uh, there's a beam nuggets.io uh, transformer that i had used i had come across uh, from uh, from my searching of youtube and my searching of uh, github uh, and that that's how i used to connect beam to the um, postgres sql uh, one of the important things that we need to consider is we need to have the postgres uh, sql tables created before itself because we can't create them on the go uh especially if we need to uh create uh, if we need if we need to enable the primary key constraints in the po in the postgres so that's how we do over here and also uh we convert the list of data frame to lists because once we uh once we we cannot in beam of course we cannot push data frames uh through the pipeline we need to convert them into lists and then push each of them and the source and the table configs are given over here all the driver names and the ports and if anything is missing is given and then we we create the beam pipeline uh and all the data frames are first converted into dictionary of data frames and then pushed one by one now uh of course when we have a lot lot big amounts of data and we need to check all the primary constraints are fulfilled we need to do merge update and transform rules uh the merge update is done basically by the beam nugget.io connector it it automatically does the uh update and insert that is it checks the primary key if it's already there then it updates otherwise it'll just insert and this is how we we push the data using uh, beam and postgres sql and then at the end uh, the data modeling was done using the power bi as uh, semantic layer modeling where you can see the sources from where you can connect this data you can connect the data from the postgres database which is present in the list or mysql database however beam nugget is you uh, uh, beam nugget uh, our .io is built based on the uh, mysql connector also so you can even use a mysql database so this is how the project looked what looked like four five data sheets of lot of data cleaning that had to be done was given as a a clean clear cut pre reporting presentation so that the analyst can just double click on the power bi app at the end of the whole process um so this is just the gist of the project 
and then uh, the GitHub of the project will be updated soon. There are some code snippets that I have to do. Uh, but the Beam Nuggets connector, uh, it's Mohammed Sahib. He's the um, he's the Mohammed Sahib is the actual person who created the Beam Nugget .io, um, uh, um, the connector, and the connector could be found in the GitHub in that GitHub, which I had taken it from him, and then I had planned this project out. So, any questions?